The huge asteroid named 1997 BQ, which is estimated to be three times larger than the Empire State Building, is expected to fly by Earth this week. An asteroid is a small rocky body that orbits the Sun. Most are found in the asteroid belt, which is located between Mars and Jupiter, but they can be found anywhere in the universe. NASA's automated asteroid tracking system is currently monitoring this mountain-sized asteroid. According to NASA, the asteroid is traveling at the speed of 7 miles per second and will be coming very close to Earth, but is still expected to safely pass our planet without incident. However, the agency said that they are keeping a close eye on the asteroid and have classified it as potentially hazardous. An asteroid qualifies as potentially hazardous if its orbit ever intersects Earth's orbit at a distance less than 4.6 million miles or 0.05 astronomical units. One astronomical unit is the distance between Earth and the Sun. The asteroid will pass within 3.8 million miles of Earth, which is roughly 16 times the distance between Earth and the Moon. This may sound like a long distance, but considering the vastness of space, this is a little bit close in space terms. NASA considers anything passing within 120 million miles of our planet as a near-Earth object, which is monitored all the time, just in case. According to NASA's NeoTracker site, which tracks space objects, the asteroid will make its approach to our planet on May 21. It does not pose any threat to our planet. The size of the asteroid is 1,500 meters, which is larger compared to other near-Earth objects. For comparison, the Empire State Building is around 443 meters high, and Burj Khalifa is about 828 meters high. Astronomers are currently tracking nearly 2,000 asteroids, comets and other objects that may threaten Earth, and new ones are found every day. Most asteroids in our solar system, millions of them quietly orbit the Sun in the asteroid belt, which is nested quietly between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter, that's hundreds of millions of miles away from Earth. Much larger asteroids have come within a close distance of Earth's orbit in the past. The largest ever was the asteroid called 3122 Florence, which flew by the Earth on September 1, 2017, and came a bit too close to Earth. That asteroid was estimated to be between 2 to 5 miles wide, and it is projected to make another pass of our planet again on September 2, 2057. These types of objects come close to our orbit more often than people believe. In fact, space is filled with asteroids and meteorites, and they pass by us on a routine basis. Many small asteroids and meteors burn up in the atmosphere on a regular basis. We call them shooting stars. Luckily, NASA doesn't believe any of the near-Earth objects will collide with our planet. Our planet hasn't seen an asteroid of apocalyptic scale since the space rock that wiped out the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. However, NASA estimates that a vehicle-sized asteroid explodes in our atmosphere about once every year. We don't detect many of these because the explosion occurs extremely high in the atmosphere. An asteroid few hundred meters across destroyed 800 square miles of forest near Tunguska in Siberia on June 30, 1908. The United Nations declared 30 June as International Asteroid Day to educate the public about asteroids. The date of International Asteroid Day commemorates the anniversary of the Tunguska asteroid impact over Siberia. It's a statistical certainty that one day the Earth will get hit by a large asteroid, whether that's in 50 years or 100 million years. Are we prepared to stop an asteroid from hitting the Earth? Protecting Earth from incoming asteroids will be a huge job, but don't expect astronauts to do it, it would all be done by a robotic spacecraft. The simplest method is a kind of planetary billiards. We can use a spacecraft to send a heavy object and smash it into the asteroid, the asteroid will then hopefully be pushed off its trajectory and miss the Earth. A joint European Space Agency and NASA mission will test such technology in the next few years. You can watch our video on NASA's plan to save Earth from killer asteroids. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video then make sure to subscribe to our channel.